Take a look at her, boys. This is the last time you're going to see her like this. Good morning. Welcome. My name is Austin. I'm the owner of Kraken Junk Removal, Tri-City's number one top choice for junk removal and home cleanouts. So today, I'm going to take you along with me and show you what it's like in junk removal when you don't have any jobs on the schedule. So we're starting our morning off right by first going to Dunkin' Donuts getting some coffee, some caffeine in us to get us awake. And as you can see here now, we're gassing up the box truck, making sure we have enough fuel to get to our destinations because although we don't have any jobs to do, we still got work to do. So the previous day, we did a garage clean out and a shed clean out. So we have the box truck full of all that junk and we need to get rid of it so that when we do get jobs, we're all set and ready to go. So here we are pulling up to the Sullivan County Transfer Station. We're weighing in, getting ready to unload all the waste. So we're finished unloading the box truck and we weighed in at 8.51 and we weighed out at 9.27, so about 35 minutes or so. And uh, when we came in, our gross weight was 12,880 pounds. We left weighing 8,920 pounds for a net weight of nearly two ton. And how much did we pay? We paid a whopping $89. So yeah, had to pay to get rid of it, but could be worse. Um, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the job was a pretty big job, and this was mostly, you know, residential waste. There wasn't a lot of construction debris in here, and a lot of it was bagged. And I did have somebody helping me for, I would say, about 70% of the time. And yeah, it took 35 minutes. So again, not too bad on the box trucks if you're doing, you know, residential junk, um, even mixed in with a little demolition debris. It's not too bad. It doesn't take you super long yeah if you have a full box truck of small demolition debris and stuff you know broken up like wood and drywall all that stuff yeah it's going to take you a long time but um not too bad so yeah now we're going to go ahead and take her to get washed but before we do that we're stopping at one of my favorite places to get a nice cold beverage and that's mcdonald's they often have the cheapest best dr pepper there is so there's one on every corner, can't go wrong. Take a look at her, boys. This is the last time you're going to see her like this. That's right. We're dropping her off, and we're going to get her wrapped. Part of the logo. So after dropping off the box truck, we had a trailer full of scrap metal that I've been collecting over the past several weeks that we had to get rid of. Uh, some of it was sitting in my driveway, so I had to load up the trailer. I didn't get any video footage of that, but here we are at the scrap yard. yard dropping off some metal it's 92 and it feels like it's 98 the weather says it's probably the hottest it's been in the past I don't know week or so but just waiting in line there's nothing like sitting in the Sun just waiting to get paid all right so on the metal and the aluminum we made $69 and then on the insulated copper wiring $42.75 not a bad payday for scrapping some metal 
just had to put up with this heat. But all right, I gotta go drop off one more load at the landfill, just some random trash. I got this bag of sawdust I have not gotten rid of yet. And then it's gonna get some lunch. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna go home and relax. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment below. Thank you guys. Catch you in the next video.